everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review and a rant. Now, it's been a while since I have uh, did a rant, so this is uh, one of the first of, well, not really, because not really, I haven't seen, I haven't seen all of them yet, though. But this is gonna be a, a rant on some, on um, well maybe I don't know, maybe on all of them though. But I don't know. But um, when I did, you know, when I um, an unpackaging of those, all those unpackages, where I got several DVDs, you know, most of them were of horror and sci-fi films, you know, give them a look, you know. So this and this was this was one of them that I got, because you know it's as it's a, it's a dinosaur film, you know, and I like dinosaurs, but. You know, sometimes just because uh, sometimes that's dinosaurs doesn't mean it has to make it make it good, you know. So, yeah. This this film was called, or what I'm doing is, the Dinosaur Experiment, or there is another title which says it was called. It's called, um, Raptor Ranch. This film is a piece of shit. Just say, just putting it bluntly, you know. This one was a piece of shit. Alrighty, problem number one. This uh, cover is completely false. Well, yeah, you see, you see, you do have a T Rex, and you do have uh, Velociraptors. Even um, you do get a factory at the end of the movie, which you see in the background. But I don't think it, the factory looks like that. And second off, um, these two people, this man and this woman, they are not in the movie. I don't know who these people are, and I will never know about them, because they are not in the movie. They're just put in there just for shits and giggles. So I don't, I don't know who they are. I don't know who, you know who this man is. I don't know who this woman is. So we'll never know. If anyone has ever seen this film, why these two, why these two people are on there or they are not in the movie, we will never know. So, that's already problem number one. This cover is completely false because these two, these two people here are not in the movie, so we don't know who they are. And problem number two, this, this, uh, the whole cast in this film sucks. The, uh, the characters, I never gave a rat's ass about anybody. Never gave a rat's ass about any of these people. Never never cared about this uh, lead girl that's right there. She tries to be tough in the movie. She failed miserably. The whole, all these characters, well, most of these characters are just, are stupid. And... Hate out, hate all these characters. Never gave, a, especially one a couple of characters in particular, which I was so annoyed. I wanted them to die. I wanted them to die, and thankfully they did, so they could shut up. And of course, it's of course it's a low it's a, it's a low budget film, you know, which I've seen a lot of low budget a lot of lower budget films, you know, that are, that have done much better than this. Um, the see the the special effects of the dinosaurs, the C this the CG are very cheap and piss poor looking, straight out of a dinosaur video game. But I will say there is a couple of um, like. One thing I will say I'll say about it, you know, like when it shows when it shows wide shots of the dinosaurs, they are poorly piss poor CGI, you know. But there are a couple of there's been a uh, more than a few scenes where when you see um, either a T Rex or an up an up close of a T Rex or a Velociraptor, there's some there's some uh, decent practical um, figures. 
you know. But I will, I will say that when you there's more than a few scenes where there's a, mostly like a T-Rex when it's up close, you know, to the characters, you know, you can tell it's a a really decent um, model effect, you know. So that's the only, um, and it has and it has uh, one good kill in it. The kills are also forgettable and piss poor kills as well. But one good kill and some. Uh, uh, more than a few scenes of some up close practical models of a t of a T Rex or a Velociraptor head. That's pretty much it. I hate the I ha I hate this movie. It's piss poor. It's it's um it drags because a lot of times now this is a film I say this completely drags. I was just fast forwarding you know it looks like uh. I watched this a, a couple of times now, and some, most times I was just fast forwarding to the scenes to get to something that's good, you know. But nothing is good in this movie, you know, except for those the uh, one thing I mentioned, though. So, yeah. So, uh, what's so how 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 it starts? It opens up with it opens up um, in this in this place in Texas. It's it's a it's again a narration by the main character, this girl named Abby, and it shows that uh, I guess this uh, this woman, this Native American woman, who's doing a thing with a fire, and she gets attacked by a Velociraptor, CG Velociraptor, and immediately you know it's just it cuts like it was really like when when thing attacks her, it just goes like this, you know, shaky, you know, like that, you know, but. And it doesn't show the, the raptor kill the person, just cuts an up close shot of it, you know, if you don't see it. K actually kill the person. And I suppose this is, I think that was supposed to be like her mother, with the girl's mother, you know, because they say that they'll, sorry about your mother, you know, but. I was too, I was too, well. Well, I thought the film sucks, so I don't care about it anyway, you know. And this girl, the main character, Abby, she, she works at this. This um, this I was uh, well the film the, the the this diner you know where her boss is a dick and an asshole you know that's what it basically is he's a he's an, he's he's an, he's an asshole boss you know he wants him to wear this this uniform this skimpy uniform you know because she has a debt to pay for using this truck you know. So you see, so you're, you're hearing me cussing so much in a rant because I haven't done a full blown rant in a while, you know. So, in most of my views, I try my best not to, you know, cuss, you know. But this film, I I found it so boring and dull and stupid, you know. So that's what it's led me up to, you know. And there's this and there's this old man, you know, who who owns this, what's it called, Raptor Ranch, you know, because there's a sign that says Raptor Ranch. And he's and he and he's and he's raising dinosaurs basically. There's there's later on there's he has stuff he has stuff up in his attic. There's some stuff you know that's that's how he made them you know. But it was only for short times. I don't know what, what, what how did he made them you know. So it's almost like basically he made these dinosaurs out of blue basically. He made them out of blue. And speaking of blue, there's this blue dinosaur which is called a Megalosaurus and its name Beth. Like this, this is the one dinosaur that this guy loves very much, you know. And he's going out to get gasoline, you know, and gives the girl right to the to the to her work, you know, with her asshole boss, filthy bosses anyway, because he's the way he looks, he's dressed like he's a filthy boss, you know, he's covered in filth and everything, you know. And then while all that's going on, there's these the people, these other characters, other characters that I don't give a rat's ass about, you know, like this, like this, these two college guys, you know, and and this, uh, and they're going up to this, they want to go skiing, so because basically this, this, this guy I hated, you know, it was such the line that says, you know, we're going up there just to for titties, basically. I'm a titty guy, you know. What is the guy's talking? He's talking out of his ass, you know. Titty man, she's... 
I hate I hate that guy. Only the and then they also when they there there are there's a, there's a, this other guy that this third person taken is called he's called Man Beast you know. It's like a hippie tiger with his freaking dreads you know and all wears a sheen. There's this where he turns around he sees his ass cracked to you you know. So they're going out, they're on their way, you know, and, well, because they said they the guy, Sheldon, this guy named Sheldon, who's, tells him, you know, oh, that they took, they took his mom's station wagon, you know. Probably took it without permission, or probably stole it, I don't care, I don't care you know. And then there's, there's, other, there's this other group of people, this, um, singer, this, uh, singer, you know, this, uh, guy, you know, and it's in these, in these two girls, you know, they're out, they're on this tour bus going to L.A., you know. Um, they're they're having they're having um they're, they're how they all how they how they all end up is the guy the, the college guys their car runs out of gas and then the two of the guy the guy and the two girls with the two in the tour bus they have they have their engine they have engine problems they all meet up at the gas station at once you know and while it's happening you know. Well, I'll get to that in a second. So basically, they're all stuck there because they have no gas. Because all because the old guy used to took up all their gas, you know, for to run his generators at the, at, at the at his farm, you know. So this the lead girl Abby takes the guy Sheldon and Man Beast and this other girl, uh, one that's with the, the tour bus, you know, a little to walk to go to the farm and get gas. Which the which the one of the characters that I really that I, that I really hated so much, you know, is this girl. The whole um, this girl, it was a, this brunette girl. She she was so uh, she was so freaking annoying, you know. She all she did was like all she did was laugh the whole time and smile all the time. Even when they're there's a couple times when she screams, but most of the time when they're getting, when they're getting terrorized, you know, by chased by dinosaurs, she goes and laughs and screams, and her annoying, and her laugh is very annoying. I just want her to, to tell her, to, you know, yell, shut up, you know, shut up, shut your face, and you know. So, yeah, that's that's one of the characters that I really hated. That that character and um, one of the what was the guy's name? The guy, Lucas, that was that guy, that college guy's name. That those those characters I really hate. I wish that I don't want them to die, and thankfully they did. They did, you know, but they died in a piss poor way anyway. So, so they go over. So they go over there, and while at the gas station, you know, the the guy Lucas goes and started and has sex with one of the other girls. I was with, the, and that was with the guy in the tour bus, you know, and then while the, the singer, the singer guy. He goes, he goes, he goes to the bathroom, and then, then there's a velociraptor, it kills a dog, but you don't see it, it just cuts away, all automatically there's this blood on the, blood on the ground, you know, you don't see it kill the dog. And you see, there's one couple of things, you see a nice, an up close, an up close shot, an up close shot of an actual practical velociraptor head, you know. Okay. And then, and then it goes and kills, it goes, the, opens up the door and kills the guy in the toilet. But then it once again it cuts it cuts away you know, so you don't actually see the kill the guy you know so it cuts away you know, and then another then there was there was two rap there were two raptors you know I think one killed the singer guy and then another one snuck on snuck on the bus and killed that blonde girl's kill that blonde girl but he bites her head off, okay that's no though okay that was another um decent looking kill as you see an actual. Was it wasn't it was it wasn't really CG though because you see their heads gone it's all bloodied up you know okay you see you see the black the lost lost raptors up close practical head you know you don't see the, the, the literally you don't see actually bite the girl's head off but you see an actual head missing you know with blood spurting out okay decent effect though but couple of good, uh, good uh, two okay that was that was, that was I said one good kill that wasn't the good kill yet that was that was, that was another second kill I said two good kills. But in a couple up close practical dinosaur heads does not does not save the movie, you know. When you have a film, you have characters that you don't give a rat's ass about, and piss poor dinosaur CGI, you know. You don't care about these people, and that's why it's that's why it's difficult not to like a movie when characters you don't care about, you know. And also, and also, sub there's also the subplot with these two FBI agents, you know, or whatever, you know, government agents, FBI agents, you know. 
these two guys, they investigated a murder from the beginning, you know, they find a footprint, and they go, they head on their way to find, on their way to, to this town, which is where they got, right, it's called Fossil Ridge, you know. And then they don't, and they disappear until you see them, until, like, towards the end of the film, like, you see them, like, about, I would say, what was it, like, um, 25 minutes, you know, well, because it, because during the time it cuts to the, cuts to them, then to the, then the characters in the town, they cuts to them, then, you know, so on and so forth, and then they, then literally after, pretty much like an hour after that, you know, that one hour gap, you don't see them until they appear at the end of the film, you know, so I don't care about the, I don't care about these FBI, or government agents, I don't care about them, you know, you don't see them, if you don't, you don't see them until like a huge, giant piece in the, in the middle of the film until you don't see them towards the end, you know, they don't do nothing, you know, by the time you see them, they're just doing some things with the old oh, they get called about the footprint they have, you know, and they think it's oh the woman tells them it's a dinosaur footprint, you know. And then after that you don't see them until the end of the film. You see them they don't do anything. They just next next thing you see them towards the end of the film, they're lying in bed in a hotel room. That's it, you know. These guys don't do anything, you know. They're useless. So Okay, so they get to the farmhouse. They find the guy on the ground because he's suffering a heart attack. They bring him to the house. The guy, the woman, the good girl, Abby, goes up there to try to find medicine. And then she, she, that's what we see. She goes up to the eye, finds all this stuff, you know. But it's only a couple seconds, so you don't know really what, how he made these dinosaurs. You know, so he just made these out of the blue, you know. And the guy suffers. The guy dies from the heart attack. He rolls over, you know. And what is that? That woman, the other woman, is with with that one. What she do? She 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 freaking laughs. She laughs at the guy. She laughs at the guy that that died from a heart attack. This girl is just. I hate I hate this girl a lot. You know I just I just. Yeah, you laugh you, you laugh at a guy that just died from a heart attack. Yeah. I just I. I hate, I hate this character. I hate this character. I, even the girl who plays the girls, the, the the characters sucks. You know, the night her laugh was just very was just so annoying and ag aggravating. You know, I was like, <laughs> oh, this is what, even how the way she talks, like this, 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 this. That's how the way how sometimes she talks. You know, when 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 she explain when which I'll get to that in a second. But then then the the, the, the hippie guy will say, you know, man beast. She goes he goes in the body finds this um cage with a small, like, a little small raptor. The others see it, they run away, and then the guy will, turns on some lights, and the accident, uh, of course, how to get out, of course, the guy opens up the doors, you know, releases more raptors, um, which, we already saw two, two were already up, even before, no, actually, then with it before I... Let's watch this film. I already forget. I already forget what how what, what that what happened. It was either that before or after the Raptors killed uh, the people in the car and the, the the singer in the toilet and the van. You know, I forget. No, actually, no. That happened before because they were because there were two that got released and they got chased. You know, and so and the group people were still running towards the place and that's how they find the bodies later on. So that's how it happened. You know, and then they released the release the release of T Rex. You know. And then the two other megalosaurs. One's a brown one, and one's a blue one, which is the main dinosaur you could say named Beth, you know. And then, and somehow, well, the man be the, the, the guy man base, who we just call, who's he, he, he goes, he runs, he runs this way, and the the dinosaur chases him though. But then, well. I guess you say that he died because the because the dinosaur pops the jumps in front of his shoulder and you hear a crunch sound. So you can which it was too dark it was too dark to tell, you know, so I couldn't even tell if the see if the dinosaur had him had the guy in his mouth, you know. For all for all I know, he probably just ran off and disappeared never to be seen again, you know. So yeah. for probably ninety percent the guy died from got eaten by the dinosaur, but the other the other ten percent, I will assume that he ran off over here and disappeared and never to be seen again, though, because it was too dark to tell, you know. But still, still, the ninety the ninety the ninety percent probability is that the guy was eaten by the dinosaur, though. But it was too dark to tell, though. 
you heard a crunch, you hear, you see the dinosaur move his head a little bit like this, maybe indicating that that's how the guy died. They 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 run away. Then they run, they run, they stop, and then they run some more, and that's where they get to the gas station. That's where they find the blood on the ground. So that's how, yeah, that's how the. So that that's that part happened before. Uh, that part happened after the Lost Soldiers were released. So yeah. They find the guy covered in blood. They they uh, take the bus. They drive. So, and well, another stupid thing: the Sheldon guy. You know, as the, as the driving away, you know, as the driving away in the bus, see, the guy says, the stup stupid, the stupid guy says, "We left my mom's car. You know, we left my mom's car back there." I'm like, what's more important, your life or your mom's car? You know, jeez. And even and of course, and goes another, another stupid thing with this guy, you know. He says, I guess he cares more more about certain things than his freaking life, you know. Like he says, like he cares about more. Sounds like he cares more about his mom's leaving his mom's car behind more than his life, you know. And then, as they enter the town, of course, the car stops. The brake is down again. Then the T Rex, the T Rex comes in, and you see once again. Well, no, actually, no. I forgot the other. I forgot the other scene. As they're running away from the farm, they get to the girl's house, and they find they find the asshole boss there, just lying on the couch in this skimpy outfit, you know. And okay, this is get the only. This is the gets the only the only decent kill that's in the film. Because so the girl got her head bit off though, but this was I thought was a decent a little bit better though. The T Rex come break come breaks through the roof, you know. You can see it. It's an actual. You can see it's an actual T-Rex head. You know, not CG. Actually, takes the guy. Doesn't like the guy doesn't die CGI style. You know, actually, they actually model T-Rex. Practical T-Rex that actually picks up the guy up. You know, and then as the guy gets up, you see a whole splatter bunch of a whole like almost like a waterfall of blood just falls. You know, just fill spreads on this couch. You know, okay, that's uh that was okay, that's the only that's the only decent uh, kill that's in the film. You know, act, a, a practical dinosaur picks up the guy, you know, not CGI style, like mostly kills in this film, you know. Because pr pretty much most of everybody dies CGI style, you know. But this, the, but the, but the, the asshole boss dies actually in a practical way, you know. It had, it had to be asshole, it had to be the asshole boss, it had to do, had to go pra die practically, you know. So yeah, it, actually the actual T-Rex head picks up the guy, and then you see, uh, some blood, and then you actually see a, a more, a, like, almost like a waterfall, a waterfall of blood, you know, that falls on the couch, you know. Okay. That's the only decent, that's the only decent kill in the film, that's it. The only, yeah, two decent kills, that's the only, but that's more of the only, that's more of a good decent kill. Then the girl got her head bit off, you know, and then a couple of up-close practical heads of the T-Rex and Velociraptors, that's it. But that still does not enough to save the movie, though, because... When well, I said the film, when I don't care about anybody, and the CGI, 90% of the film where it shows the dinosaur CGI, piss, especially it's very cheap looking, and the film gets boring between between times. That's why I fast forward to see something good happens, you know. So yeah, this after that, then they, the girl gets a bow and arrow and they run off, you know. And then there's another thing where they, when they're running again, that's when they hide in this big pipe, you know, in a and the girl shoots an arrow at a down at uh, one of them, you know. And that's when now skip to the part where I said before when the the two bus breaks down in the middle of town and the T Rex, like I said, an up uh, an up close practical T Rex, you know, pokes his head and you know when then it, well of course when it comes out the wife shot of his seat it's poor cheap CGI, you know. It flips the it flips the van over, you know, and then. All of them gets out, you know, except for the Sheldon guy, you know. They all run into the store, and this guy's still stuck inside of it, you know. And there's a scene where he, where he just gets out, and the guy just stands there, you know, even though, even though the T-Rex could have easily got him, though, when the guy just stood there. It roars and blows his hat off, he runs back inside, like, oh, shit, you know, I need to go get my my beanie hat, you know. And the guy, he cares more about, so, like, he cares about, like, certainly he, was, he cared more, more about retrieving, like, leave, leaving his mom's car there in his life, and then he goes back, and goes and gets his beanie hat, you know. This guy's also this guy's also dumb, you know. R risks his life for retrieve his beanie hat, you know. 
But then eventually the guy gets back into the store with them. And the woman, the the other girl that's with them, you know, with that freaking annoying laugh. They're they're being terrorized by a dinosaur, and then she picks up this doll, baby doll, who's laughing. <laughs> I just wanted to yell, shut up, shut up, you know. Duck, keep your mouth shut and keep quiet. Then she, then, found, then somehow the, there's this book that tells exactly about what dinosaurs they are, you know. Even when the girls were like, oh, they talk about this, and no, oh, they're 50 feet long. You just, you know, I just want to, I just want to freaking want to jump through the screen and strangle this girl, you know. I just I, I hate these characters, especially that girl. That, especially that girl. I hate her the most. You know, she's the most annoying character in in the whole entire film. And then the guy tried the guy Lucas. and said once again, I'm the titty man. You know, he puts this uh, Roman suit on with a gun. I think he's trying to goes out there and tries to fight, but doesn't. He stands there saying ski buddy, and then goes like this and wait for the guy. But then the the CG dinosaur takes him away. Lame death, lame death. All these, most of these deaths are lame, you know, except for the the girl that killed with the blonde girl, and then the the asshole boss, you know. So then, 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 then it's for some time, and then cuts to like a, sometime a, a little bit. Then the, the stupid brunette girl, you know, is fishing, you know, she goes fishing because she's fishing with. For another for, for another Velociraptor, you know, because with the, as they're weighing out as they're weighing inside, the, all the dinosaurs, the the main dinosaur Beth, you know, it kills the other two Velociraptors, it kills this other Megalosaur, and it kills <clears throat> the T Rex as well, you know. So, but then this girl starts fishing in the closet where this other Velociraptor is. It gets out, you know, and they run away, you know. They run and run and run. They get to this factory, you know, which that's not the, that's not the same look as the factory in that, you know. So they get there, they run and they run and run, and then this and then a, a pointless scene where this girl finds a the the the, the annoying girl finds a bicycle, just rides it for two seconds and just runs some more. Pointless and pointless. Then she trips over this barrel, a couple of barrels, and then she gets stepped on. CG, poorly CGI style, cut, and it, it, it just, like, steps on it for one second, and it just cuts away, you know, but you can tell it was, if you free, if I, I freeze-framed it, and just says, she's about to squash CGI, CGI style, but then just cuts away, you know. Lame death, you know. All, except for two, except for two decent kills, the other deaths are, are the other deaths are very lame and stupid. And then the guy, and then Abby and the Sheldon guy, they stop, you know, and then they op they find themselves on his ledge. They both jump down, and then the Sheldon guy gets uh, stepped on again. You know, you see the guy laying very still. You know, then the the Beth, you know, steps on it on the guy. You can see a CGI effect. You know, of the guy's back being crushed. You know, not very well done. It's, p it's piss poor and cheap looking. And then, then the main girl runs away, and then. And there's another, there's another thing. These are very strong. These are big dinosaurs. How come they have a hard time breaking down doors? You know, like even the T-Rex. You know, like when the when the people run to run, ran into the store, the T-Rex couldn't just even break down the doors. You know, these are these are big dinosaurs, and they have like very thick heads, thick enough to break down these doors. Even the you get into the end, the make the main megalosaur looks like it was. And which another thing, it was it was bigger than it was outside, and for some reason it shrunk down to the size of the to the size of the door. It gets it gets to this door, you know, and it gets stuck there, and it seemed like it was a lot smaller than it was before. Then the girl says, "You and me, bitch," you know, tries to be sound try tries to sound tough, but she failed miserably. So yeah, that's another thing. These dinosaurs are strong, like the the. Even the, well, the, the the dinosaurs and all in in the three in the three Jurassic Park films, even in the new Jurassic World film, you know, they're they were causing destruction, breaking down buildings, and you know, including all four of the films, you know, including the new one, all the dinosaurs in those films, they they break they break down they break down structures, you know, buildings, walls, glass, you know. 
these dinos, these the T Rex and the other dinosaur, they couldn't break down doors. Even the Megal, the, the blue Megalosaur Beth, you know, looks like she shrunk down to to the width of that of the size of my door right there, you know, and it gets stuck there. These are just very weak dinosaurs, you know. They're supposed to be fierce and strong, but yet they're they're not they're not strong enough to, to break down doors. So the girl pours gasoline and next, next to these flammable barrels, she lights it, boom, cut. But it doesn't doesn't you don't see this basically from what I saw you don't see the the dinosaur blow up and it only cuts to a, you see a fire explosion in front of us, but you don't see the actual animal being blown to bits. So that's another bit of lame effect anyway. Then the FBI, then the FBI show up and saying, "Oh, they say they get one guy says, is that an earthquake? Nah, that's an explosion." How's the guy know that? How's our, how's the guy already know that already? That's already an explosion. The ground shook a bit, and maybe they indicate, indicate that it was probably a small earthquake. But how's the guy know it's already an explosion already? I don't know. But until they get there, they know it was an explosion because the building blew up. You know, they take the girl, but then of course another stupid thing is that when the reporter is saying this is were these dinosaur attacks, and the guy says this is not like Jurassic Park. You know, this is that. Yeah, they had, yeah they had to make they had to make a nod to that you know, a, ma a masterpiece of a film and a note being um, mentioned in a she film dinosaur film like this, and then it shows and it cuts to you know the girl like a, a year later you know and the girl got her wish you know her dream came true she's a singer now then it shows another CGI there's the one CGI that the girl was fishing. You don't see that. You don't see that uh, get eaten or anything. You just see it in the store, and it cuts away. You know, so that's the probably base of the one raptor that's still alive. You know, and it just shows him going on attacking. And then another thing, it shows the the woman from the beginning of the film got killed. You know, I don't know why she's there again. Anyway, I don't care. This movie, this movie sucks. This movie sucks. It's one of the worst uh, dinosaur films I've ever seen. Well. I, I, I haven't seen the other ones yet. Well, I saw one of them, but the other ones I still have not seen. But, as of right now, this is like probably the one of the worst dinosaur films I've ever seen, you know. But, at, but, but I'm sure the other ones are probably worse, though. But, as before, if I don't like these, when I got all those DVDs, like I said before, if I don't like these films, hey, more rants, you know. Because, you probably want to see more rants, because I haven't done a whole lot of ranting in a while. So, here we go. This is, this is one of the first ones I've seen, and this one sucks. Big time. It's one of the worst ones I've ever seen. So yeah, the first problem, the, you don't see, you don't know who these two people are. They're not, they're not in the film. So this cover is completely false. Poorly advertising, you know. The cast, the, the whole cast sucks. The characters suck as well, you know. The stupid dialogue, you know, stupid. You know, the character, this is saying, you know, stupid dialogue, stupid, you know. Cheap looking CGI dinosaurs, very cheap looking. The character, the characters, the one of the characters I, the really hated was, was, yeah, there it is, this girl right, the one right there, the brunette girl is right there. Or, Mayor, there you go. She was one of the she she was the, the most hated character, the, the most hated character for me, in this film. She was annoying, aggravating. Her laugh was annoying. She couldn't, she wouldn't stop laughing. She couldn't stop smiling. Throughout the whole movie, she said like she was smiling, you know. When she, even when they're getting terrorized, yeah, there's a couple of scenes where she screams, but most of the time she's smiling, laughing, you know, and she talks like they talk like this, you know. The other characters I hated are the guy Lucas, you know, seeing the titty man, this and that, you know. There's a reason why we're going up there to see titties, you know. Stupid, stupid shit like that. He's talking out of his guy. He's, this guy's talking out of his ass, you know. The other stupid stuff, you know. The guy, the other guy, Sheldon guy, the Sheldon guy, you know, cares more about retrieving his mother's car or, or getting getting his beanie hat back than than more. He cares about more of those than his own goddamn life, you know. These characters, these characters are so stupid. And the dinosaurs, the T Rex, and the other Beth dinosaur. The Beth dinosaur. These are like some of the weakest dinosaurs I've ever seen because they are not strong. These are big freaking dinosaurs and they're not strong enough to break down doors. The Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3, how it broke through that 
that big fence, you know, that spiked up fence, you know, it broke through that, you know, like it was nothing. But these dinosaurs can't break down wooden doors. And and then I swear the Beth the Beth dinosaur, the blue Megalosaurus dinosaur named Beth, it looked like it shrunk down, you know. Like it was like it was like gigantic. It was like the size of the T Rex when it was in the street, you know. And when it enters the factory, when it gets stuck in that door where the girl lights the lights it up, you know, it looks like it shrunk down to the size of the doorway, you know. And it gets stuck there, and it still is not so strong strong because it break down the doors, you know. It gets stuck there. This movie sucks. I just I hate this movie, you know. It's one of the worst dinosaurs of films I've ever seen. Yeah, the, you get two. Get there's two decent. There's two decent kills. That's it. You know, and a couple of up close, of up close of the dinosaur pet practical head models. Yeah, those those are decent as well. You know, decent looking. You know, at least at least this film had a low budget enough to make some dinosaur model dinosaur head models. You know, and the and the especially the 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 boss. You know, getting killed. You know, in a practical way, and they see a, a whole a waterfall of blood fall on the couch. You know. That's the only decent kill that's in the best, the only best decent kill in the film, you know. But that, but, that is, those, those highlight, those couple of good things I said about the film, does not save the movie, though. When, mostly when you have a cast that you don't care, especially care, cast and characters that you don't care about, you know, at all. And the dinosaurs, 9% of the movie were, were, no, no, I would say 98%. Because there were some decent, like I said, decent practical model effects. But 98% the, the 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 CG on the dinosaurs were cheap looking, you know, very cheap, you know, piss poor. This movie sucks. I just hate this movie, you know. Just... So yeah, that movie can kiss my ass. The Carnosaur films, those those are lower budget budgeted. Um, that's one that I always say. Probably one of the best lower budget dinosaur films, you know. I, I like the Carnosaur films, you know. Those were all those had all practical effects, you know. Those those you know, those are those have better effects than this film, you know. I'm not compare I'm not I'm not gonna compare it to the Jurassic Park franchise, because compared to these lower budget films, they can't touch those worth of crap, you know. But the Carnosaur films are much better. They are much better than the, the, the characters, like the, some of the, the lead characters in the Carnosaur films, are much better actors than anybody in, than anybody in this film, you know. So yeah, so that's my review for the Dinosaur Experiment or Raptor Ranch, you know. Take take whatever name you wanted to. Raptor Ranch is basically what the original name was, because there's a poster that's called Raptor Ranch anyway, not Dinosaur Experiment, you know. It's a 90-minute movie, but it dragged on. There were, a couple, there were scenes I, I was just fast-forwarding, you know, because to get to something, hopefully it's something that was, that was good, you know. But nothing was good, except for two kills, some good, practical, model dinosaur heads, you know. But that does not save the movie, though. It doesn't save, doesn't save the movie. So that's my, that's my review for the dinosaur experiment. It's a piece of shit, basically. Yeah, see, the more, the more, I get more, so the more pissed off, you know, films like this, I cuss more, you know. It takes a lot, it takes a lot for a bad film to make me swear a lot, though, but I try to do my best not to, though, because I'm not the type of person who does, though, but, but a film pisses me off that bad, that's why I go full force on it, you know. So that's my review for The Dinosaur Experiment. Thanks for watching, and hopefully maybe I can see, um, I'll probably review some more in October, but I'll probably get to some, you know, more like this today, or, you know, well, not today, though, but more down the road, you know, until October, you know. Probably be more ranting, you know, because I haven't, I haven't watched all of them yet, probably, but ever seeing that film, I know what I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to be in for, you know, so. Thanks for watching, take care, stay tuned on the next movie review. Later.